let's uh, let's get started on the feature match for tonight. Uh, this is uh, J.K. and Brian B. I'm uh, excited for this. this J.K. is, is cool. Shuffle Bus Winter Champion. Brian B. Don't think has brought a championship home yet, uh, but obviously a very strong player within the community. He's played uh, the finals though, hasn't he? Oh yeah, he's been in finals. He's been a finalist a number of times. Um, so I mean, you know, both of these players are top tier Ashes players uh, going at it. Brian sort of. Um, piloting and at shuffle bus uh march single day qualifier this wishing wing coal uh to immense success and um yeah and and obviously jk winning um is brian carl is asking is brian the best player to not win one that's a good question because i don't think philly's won one yet either carl uh i haven't won one then let's not talk about you right now (laughs) (laughs) Um. um but uh yes you know the the story i always tell is when i was very early on doing this when we were early on streaming and i was like playing matt bowers for the first time you know uh matt bowers told me that brian b is the best ashes player in the world and obviously brian b has said the same thing about matt so i think it's kind of funny that they like they like hold each other's hand that way so brian b rolls the most basics i mean i i think that he's whether or not he's the literal best that hasn't won one i don't know but i'll tell you he has to be the most decorated and like experienced ashes player that hasn't won one right because he he just has a thousand titles and accolades from 1.0 and Right. So so Brian B starts a wishing wing, um, and then we see uh, JK answer with Salamander Monk. JK rolled zero basics on his rollout. That's a pretty good start. Um, and, and Brian chose to go first here, which I think is the correct thing you want to do here. You don't want to give Brennan the top of round three, although I'm not sure that matters with Cole, but we just see an immediate choke to shut down think- Slash from Brian. Interesting That's start interesting. from JK. Um. I mean, I think that's pretty good. It it allows him to like, uh, to play some of these things like Salamander Monk. Salamander Monk is already pretty good against Slash, but not impervious to it, obviously. Right. Um. What's interesting we'll to me is like it really devalues this Wishing Wing, right? Like now J.K. can put this Salamander Monk into play. And what do you do with this wishing wing? Because the wing's gonna draw you cards, but what do you do with the cards you draw? I mean, you just hope it depends on a lot on what like this this round one will depend heavily upon what the cards drawn off wishing wing are. Right. Right. The um rather than just like them being free pitch one damage. So um, JK just pings the the wishing wing away, gives Brian the two cards. Makes sense just because with the slash turned off now. Right, like you said, the the impact of the cards is not immediate. Uh, right. So we obviously the Cole still has a grip of cards, but doesn't have his normal outlet in the form of slash this round now. But I'm we've to got look at Brian's list here. So if he hits the fighting spirit of the shifting miss, it's still really good. Um he or a or a time hopper book, right? Like those are the things he hopes to hit off the. Right. The He's only out. meditated a Gorn Rock Brawler away. Right. Uh, the 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 best place for Gorn Rock Brawler on the top of your deck when you meditate round one. Yep. And then um, we did see one of the burn spells go past for Brennan. The sympathy pain. One of the sympathy pains got meditated away, but plenty of burn still left in this list. Uh, and that coal life uh, potentially a real liability here. Meditating like. Like he's always going to meditate burn spells. That's just what it does. There's so many. Meditating a fester is actually very good for him because fester is quite bad in this matchup. Yeah, I, I'll be curious to see if if he started. I guess this is a triple realm walker deck, so maybe fester is better than I, I'm saying it is. But yeah, it'd be interesting to see if JK started a nature's wrath, planning for this first five of raptor hatchling or not. The raptor herder is interesting. Um, this was not something that I like had anticipated, though. Thinking about it in the Brennan matchup, it's probably pretty good. Because mm-hmm. it's just a race. Like, it's just a race. Right. So JK meditates three cards, watches the Salamander Monk punch at Raptor Hatchling here. So he's going to take face damage here for sure. Um, does Brian, Brian has a Gates, right? Yeah, he's got Gates. So yep. does Brian have this? To... I would imagine Brian's on Gates with this Raptor. It seems very likely. So I, I would probably just let this go if it was me. 
Um, but only if I have the gates because you just want this salamander tapped ish, I guess. Not sure that's it, gonna really it's, matter. It's awkward because you can't, yeah. So he he actually guards. Okay. Yep. So he's I assume this will be an attack then to convert that damage. Uh, I would assume Brian's gonna take this opportunity to open up uh and get some some crackback damage on this Brennan. That's I mean, this is a scary attack to send these guys in now. Right. He plays generosity. Ooh. Does he heal or does he reset? He draws he three draws. cards. I love it. I think if you're the Brennan player, you reset your Salamander Monk book. Don't let him untap. Uh, it depends on what his, if he needs this other sympathy, this horse dice, right? Yeah. Because uh, honestly, this is great for the Cole, right? Because yeah. either heal to or reset is so good yep. right now that. Uh, okay, so he chooses reset Salamander book, like you said. Yeah. Um, I think you have to do that because you can't let Cole reset after drawing three cards and having a grip of six cards for slashes. So, I mean, obviously the generosity was probably a tech for Brian specifically against this, um, you know, this plan of... of um, and we see the... Widow's the final... Four damage... Spirit burn, final crack. Yep. And then attack. Hatchling. Yep. So, so this, this is why I thought he needed to convert that damage. Um because he could still like if he if this happened, he could still generosity like this action now. Right. And he would have gotten the two damage out of the herder or the hatchling, but he's still got a lot of gas in the tank if he's got a gates in hand. For sure. I mean he's he's sitting on the ability to make uh quite a few units. It's just gonna be really a question of whether or not Brennan the Brennan player started um it looks to me like he's probably got a Huntmaster potential here, which Huntmaster looks pretty solid. Um, um, and then it's it's also just, a, I mean, obviously no Widow's start from the JK. JK cannot have a Hunt Master. The one is in the discard pile. Unless he meds up and ceremonials into it. So That's, uh, that's true. He could ceremonial, but that is less good. <laughs> I wonder if JK just started a Molten Gold and just is going to rush damage to face. That's what that, it is. That was what I was going to say. I think he's got Molten Gold and he's got... Uh, um, Sympathy Pain? What did it... Yeah, and he's going to ceremonial back a raptor or something. Yeah, it's very possible. I mean, he could just make a, a salamander monk. Making a salamander monk is like almost as much damage as sympathy pain, probably. Yeah, the standard bearer represents a little bit more risk for that because your opponent's going to make this big standard bearer time hopper. There's focus hopper. Okay, so this was one of those cards I was talking about where obviously the generosity on top of the bird has allowed him to draw into this. Um, if he draws the additional ready spells, then the draw is still good even through the joke. Yep. But um, obviously Cole's life total very small, so we're already half done. Yeah, I, I just think it's, um, you know, this is a lot of threat pressure with this standard bearer in the first, we don't know if that's even a first five card now because of the five card draw that we've seen up to this point, but. Um, I would say he probably didn't start it, uh, but obviously his his whole turn, when, when you draw five cards, like, your turn it, be, it changes immediately. Yeah, it's like totally different. Okay, so, so JK's JK passing. Passed. See, this I think JK is holding a nature's wrath. That's what I think is happening right now. Well, but here's the thing though, right? Is like, I guess if he has gates, he has to gates now if he wants to make another wishing wing. But there's mm -hmm. also just the play of like, yeah, make hopper. And he has the option to make multiple hoppers or he has the option or maybe he started a maybe, bar and crack with a couple. Maybe he started a fester, thinking that Brian was going to open a realm walker on him. That's potentially, yeah. So, um, God, this is sweet. <laughs> lots of bunnies, bouncing bunnies everywhere. And he can even leave a blocker back if he wants. Uh, well, none of the bunnies can block, so you'd have to leave the herder back. Right, that's what I mean. Like, is, you could die with the herder here if you want, but I would leave it back. Like. Uh, well, this is going to be a lot of damage. That's for sure. Yeah, I think he's going to get sympathy pain. I mean, I think the, the sympathy pain really does represent like um, a pretty significant so, risk. So he does so leave he, a hopper back. He leaves back, a hopper back also. Um, this would the, be so that when he plays gates, he has an untapped hopper with a counter on it. For um, what purpose, though? To get the focus. 
Ah, uh, sure. But that would that would only get you... You're not going to get a third bunny because the bunny maxes out at four. So C5 right, damage is going to have the, the potential to. This, I mean, this bunny was not going to get pumped. So this leaves him the option to do so. Yeah. Uh, if it comes to that, like if there's a nature's wrath or something weird, right? Sure. Um, I do think we're going to see a... And we did see the sympathy pain, so... Uh, oh, and he's... Uh, now we're seeing a nature of power to kill their raptor herder. Right. Um, so this ceremonial power will be stranded, it looks like. Maybe he'll buy back a guy um, just to have for next round. But he could only buy he could buy back a raptor or the hunt master. Both would be pretty yeah. good going first top around. Yeah, we'll see if he chooses to do that. Otherwise, just leaving up goat is pretty good when you have final cries in your deck. So I guess right. two of them are gone. Yeah, he's already played one. And he's meditated one. So two sympathy pains gone. Two final cries gone. He's only got to deal four to Cole, kind of though. So right. I mean, he's really got to get. He's got to get one burn spell in this mix here. And um, obviously, this this bunny horde with the standard bearer is uh, looking pretty pretty fresh right now. Yeah, unfortunately, he's not going to get to make an unfair wishing wing number two because he chose to do time hoppers there for that attack. Um, because they only he, have the like he you could make ping it, he could actually ping his own buddy away, and then gates into double hopper. Oh, there's the or he'll just play a realm marker. That's kind of sweet. Yep. All right. All right. So a fair amount of damage coming out from this coal in round one here. So this is going to put him at nine and potentially leave a very large swing with a realm walker. Uh, what does the Brennan have to stop it? The Brennan has three festers. Okay. So. So you'd have to hard roll a frog. Yeah. With but the Brennan is going first, so he can have an additional blocker. Yeah, just uh, exhaust because the of that Monk Spirit. But, right. well, I guess Cole can slash Monk Spirit and then attack. Right. And the Realm Walker will tap the new Monk, so... All right, so we didn't get an attack from it. Brian did not attack with the Realm Seven, Walker there. Eight, nine, ten. I mean, he didn't attack with Realm Walker. Why? Don't know. That's don't, crazy. Because that he would have he would have had lethal. Okay, they're going back. I was like, there's no way he passes, right? Like, if... Uh, yeah. I, he, I, I mean, this attack is for 10. Right. And he's at 10. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's currently 10 to 6. 6 life remaining for the coal, 10 life remaining for... I think um, he should be at 9, but maybe they're not counting the time hopper that was untapped. I, yeah. Because he, he had Realm Walker plus time hopper to attack with, but it, it doesn't matter because this is 10 damage. Uh, though JK rolled a frog, so... Um, so if he does draw the fester to kill this realm walker, well, he also because he's at eight instead of nine, he can kill a time hopper, and it's not lethal, right? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it would put him to one. Well, but but you have to have a threatened player. Cole gets a slash on the next turn. We have so, a you have a monk spirit, right? Like, well, the monk spirit is going to get slashed before the attack. Probably. No matter what. I mean, I would. Why not? Like, you have well, no reason to... Because then because you have... If, if JK doesn't... If JK puts a guy into play, then yes, you slash the thing so you get to pretend. If he doesn't, you just make a time hopper as your side action. The thing can't block, so... But yeah, I, I agree with Chad. I think that that was misclicks that obviously they increased the damage on Brennan. Um... Going round two. Yeah, treatment. That's what I was saying is that he has 10 on board, but uh, if he, because JK rolled a frog, if he frog pings one of the rabbits, then he doesn't have 10 on board anymore because it's JK's turn. Because this thing can't pump itself, right? It's other. Others, yeah. 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 But he could make a hopper. As a side action, and then it well, will pump everything on the board. Right. the The situation would be like frog ping a hopper, and also play a uh, 
fire archer or something. Yeah, you got to put a threat in play. But you're still going to get that fire archer is going to get realm walkered, and the monk spirit is going to get uh, slashed. Right, but you can't slash and make the hopper, so you're still attacking for nine and leaving that one. That's why he, if he can make a unit here or play well, nature's wrath, nature's wrath looks pretty good here. That obviously uh, wouldn't have changed anything now. Nature's Wrath is a good card. Interestingly enough, playing Nature's Wrath here, I don't know why you wouldn't... Maybe he's going to Final Cry his Monk off of his Nature's Wrath, but like you could have just Spirit Burned your Monk into the Nature's Wrath. I do think it's weird that he didn't Spirit Burn the Monk um, before this, but potentially he has an additional side action he wants to do. Yeah, like it might so, be a Frog Ping or something, I don't know. I think probably a Meditate is... Does Brian like, run Particle Shield? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. He has two fate reflections. Okay. So we're definitely waiting on Brian to consider a fate reflection here. That may be, be a good. reason. That may be a reason to consider that holding that frog ping just to be able to punch the bunny that with the status token on it afterwards. Yeah, uh, it doesn't like lethal you, right? Uh. Because maximum he sort saves of. one rabbit, right? So he he's does not. It, does Brandon flash strike? Does flash strike would change no. that? This is again like if he had put him at nine instead of eight, he'd have lethal with the fate reflection, because he'd have rabbit, standard bearer, realm walker in play, and he could go time hopper side action, rabbit, rabbit, attack. I, I guess he still can. Is that enough? Yeah, I think it is enough. So we don't see a final cry. So it didn't have the last final cry here from from JK. No, it's not because this this is why he needed the side action because he still he has to frog now or die. Right. Realmwalker is a messed up card. It's pretty good. So good. Yeah, this is a this is a tricky spot for the Brennan. Um because oh. Yeah, I mean he he has to frog it, right? Like we he has it on board to kill it, so right. What is that manual there? I don't know. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh possibly just like JK disconnected so it screwed up the prompt or something. Yeah. Yep. So there goes the bunny, and now he's no longer lethal. He's still under a ton of threat because Brennan can, or Cole can just go Witching Wing Hopper, and then the Brennan has to have another Nature Wrath essentially. He could have a Fester for the Realm Walker at that point, right? Could he? No, he'd die because there would be Time Hopper, Wishing Wing in play. Right, but the Wishing Wing. And and then next turn he goes time hopper time, and have two hoppers attack with standard bear three hoppers and a and a wishing wing for one two three four five six seven eight nine. There's Brian playing accelerate here. Ooh, neat. Is this lethal? Can he make three hoppers? Does three hoppers kill him? It might. It very well might. Because he so, doesn't have sympathy pain showing, so he can't like kill the realm walker or whatever back. Yeah, I think this is gonna be lethal too. God, combo decks are sweet. <laughs> uh not gonna have time for that shadow, it doesn't look like. Because we're gonna get Yeah, because this is it's gonna be two, four, six, yeah, ten, eleven. That's that's lethal. That is lethal right there, folks. Bunnies, 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 bunnies. Bunnies with standard that bear was, getting that was the work so done sweet. with the realm walker. That was the so accelerate sweet. play. What a play. What a play. Brian B finishing the game in 14 dice. Well, I mean, 
that kind of game obviously happens when you know that your opponent also has to kill you in 14 dice mode. So they're kind of starting non-interactive first fives. Uh, so I think that, that this game specifically, the number of dice that they use to win is accelerated artificially by the matchup. Uh, Brian B. Closing the game out on the back of a bunch of bunnies. Uh, buffed by a standard bearer. And, that was sweet. That was super cool. And an accelerate to get it done. Um, what a what an interesting game that was. Um, the the Brennan player, you know, I mean, obviously one of the things we talk about a lot with Brennan is it doesn't play to the board very well, and you see that here uh, in in all of its you know glory, if you will. Um, obviously, still co connecting for nine, but I do feel like it's a potential misplay to not play a little bit to the board against this cold deck with. Uh, a hunt master in round one versus starting the molten gold. Uh, you, yeah, you can it's, be... it's tough, right? Though because because you know that like your win condition is burning them out, and mm -hmm. by starting hunt master, you're kind of picking a card that isn't going to damage them. Um, because this deck has so many blockers, right? Like, well, I think I think you can just go like turn one hunt master, turn two attack for four. Like, if you want to play burn and play aggressive, you just got a four damage spell there. Yeah, I also, that's like the same thing as what he did, though, right? Was like he's three dice for four damage. He he kind of did that. In a he did two dice for three. Yeah, he did the two dice for three. He 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 valued that ping, expecting a gates open. Obviously, the generosity and the wishing wing probably changed that pretty substantially. And generosity looked very very good here uh, as a good answer to that that uh, first round choke from the Brennan player. Um, yeah, I so. I think the choke was good but potentially like like hunt master might have been better than choke uh because as it turned out the way this game played out like he won round one without slashing right like he just right. he just out carded him like mm -hmm. out duded him and uh that's that's one thing about this brain deck is like the choke is so good against cole in the matchups where you're fighting over the battlefield because Cole is so good at fighting over the battlefield with Slash. Right. But since the, the Brennan deck doesn't fight over the battlefield, you don't gain as much. Like, the one damage you do is more valuable when your win condition is a burn win condition, but not by this, like, ridiculous margin uh, where not getting Slash mattered very much, I don't think. So right. maybe, maybe a unit would have been better than Choke, but... In any case, this this was a cool game and it, and very cool uh, to see their like accelerate rabbit rabbit attack victory. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's the thing that you know that the accelerate inside a coal can do is really, um, especially with time hoppers. Very very powerful card. Yeah, it, it's we haven't seen it. We haven't seen it really. Um, you know, really be a showcase piece. This is probably the best accelerate we've ever seen in in competitive play. But I yeah, think and things it, like and it's not like a core card to the deck or anything. It's just good. And this was, you know, what what I've always said about accelerate is that you have to have this critical mass of like good proactive side actions, so right. that when you draw it, it's not dead. And that cold deck definitely has that, right? Like it has yep. a million great side actions. Yep, that was a very very fast uh, win for the cold player. Obviously race style games like that are going to be fast 